now let us see how to create a radio buttons for that first we should have to port everything from the tinker and create object of the class and then let us give a title for let us say radio buttons and then root dot main loop these are the basic things now let us create a radio button so as we create a label the same thing for the radio button so let us say but1 is equal to so if you want to create a variable or not that depends upon the requirement whether you want to store the information in the variable you can create so for now let us directly call a radio button and inside that let us say root comma let us give a text is equal to let us say radio one and dot pack same thing now let us first execute it so we have created a radio now let us create two more radio buttons and make some changes let me copy it paste it paste it paste it let us say two three and four so we can also declare a integer var variable and give the values to the radio button like one two three that we'll be seeing in next so let me first execute this program see here we have created four radio buttons so we can we can also like so for default let us see we want this size or something like this there should be a padding space in the x so instead of geometry we can also use the pad x inside it so for this let us say pad x is equal to let us say 40 let us see the difference first see here these are 40 so what else we can do we can also give it like inside the pack we can there is a parameter called anchor so whether you want to anchor this radio button west east north or south so according to the requirement you will be doing let us say w let us execute it first this anchor variable is available for all like labels see here because we have padded it left west it will be pa uh, sticking to the west and the padding is 40 so after padding x 40 this will be placed at the west so according to our requirement we can change this like that let us say this one anchor is equal to always you should have to use capital for west capital w for east capital e for north capital n now let us say anchor is equal to capital e anchor is equal to capital e see the output see here these two are padded here these two are on the west but because we have given the pad x 40 to the first one it is leaving the space so for better readability let us give this one also pad x is equal to 40 for this one let us give padding for the y because they are at the east is equal to let us say 40 
same thing pad y is equal to 40 so this pad and this variable can be used for the labels also for the labels buttons also normal buttons this is how it appears so be careful while using this one so for better readability for now let me w and give w let us say this one as x this one as x now execute it see here now it is very now if you maximize also they will stick there itself because we have padded and placed them on the west position only if you remove that they will be moving so let us see that also so if you remove these anchorings now see the difference when you maximize all of them will be placed at the center according to the this one so depending upon the requirement we will be writing the code so i am just showing the options so hope you understood how to create a basic radio button in our next example we will be creating a variable of type integer and assigning a values to the radio buttons so that we can use like radio button the first radio button will be given the value some value like one two three four so like this we can also assign the values to the radio buttons and store it in the integer and then in a further according to our requirement we can use them so that we will be seeing in the next example until then try creating this radio button basic radio buttons and play with this pad x and and the variable called anchor so be practice keep practicing meet you in the next video